So right now we are uh, working on our next Eclipse and Plane, and this one is their Spitfire. I'm kind of excited about this because not only does it have some of the really cool interlocking features, it also has retract gear, which is something that they're pretty much proprietary to in the 3D printing world as far as uh, RC planes go. And I'm excited to see this thing put together and hopefully it all works out well. Are you kidding me? No way. So I've got all of our Bamboo Lab printers started up here. Got them loaded up with our lightweight PLA, and uh, yeah, we're gonna get to it. So if you guys are new to like the 3D printing world uh, from an airplane perspective, you might be wondering, why are we messing around with 3D printed airplanes? So one of the big reasons for that is we actually partner with a company called Eclipsen, who is the designer behind all of these awesome airplanes that we've done. So obviously here at Flight Test, we love DIY aviation. And that doesn't just mean foam board, you can use things like 3D printing. And now with partners like Eclipsen, they have the similar vision like we do here at Flight Test to make it approachable, easy to build, and easy to fly. So here at Flight Test, we're not 3D printed gurus or anything of that nature, but at the end of the day, we love using 3D printing to impact people in a positive way. So let us know in the comments down below what you think Eclipsen should make next. Maybe a B-17? Who knows, let us know in the comments. Alrighty guys, so we just got done assembling the plane. Now I gotta figure out what color paints we're gonna use. And I have to say, this thing assembled incredibly well. Every time they get a little bit better, and this one I think they went over the top with, it's perfect. So now we're gonna pick out some paint and get it painted and see how it flies. Getting the wash day put this plane together specifically, it's amazing how with every new design that we get to do, how there's a different jump in evolution, whether it's the build experience, uh, whether it's the printing experience, um, or hopefully the flying experience. I can't wait to fly this one. Now, with Spitfires, typically with their long elliptical wings, I'm eager to see if he changed anything aerodynamically, because typically they don't scale down very well. That means those long elliptical wings can oftentimes cause tip stalls, or basically make it unstable. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it flies slow flight, and also how it handles in the air. What I'm doing on this end here is I'm getting my Radio Master radio all set up to be able to go into the airplane. This has two separate servos for the landing gear, which means I want to have to have two separate servo ports so I can reverse one and then have the other one normal. That way one doesn't go open as the other one goes closed. So hopefully by the time he's done, I'm gonna have this programmed and we're ready to take it out and fly. All right, so it's battery charging time here. I'm gonna charge two different batteries for the Spitfire. Uh, the actual specs call for a three cell 2200. And this is really important because if you put too light of a battery in or too heavy of a battery in, it's gonna be tail heavy or nose heavy. I'm gonna go ahead and charge my 2200 on my ISDT K2. And I'm also gonna charge at the same time my four cell 2300 because frankly, I wanna push a little bit. A little extra nose weight, I don't think it's gonna hurt, but we're gonna find out in a minute. So I'm gonna put these both on charge, see how they go. Now, if you guys are looking for an awesome forever charger, we have the K2 Air, the K1, and also the 608 AC unit, which is super versatile. All those are available in our store. Now, on all of the ISDT chargers, the interfaces are very similar to each other and incredibly easy to use. So I got these on charge. It looks like we're only gonna need a couple minutes. We'll be ready to fly. All right, so we're ready to do this. Yeah, we're out here at Ready Board Runway and yep. uh, we're getting ready to fly this new plane. It's yeah. awesome. Ready Board Runway is who manufactures our foam for us, but this is the one case where we're making a 3D printed airplane. Yes, it is. Yeah, it turned out beautiful. I mean, this this bird's ready to go. Yep. It looks beautiful. great. Now show them the retracts real quick. This is pretty oh, cool yeah. because this has full blown retracts and I also slowed it down <laughs> so it's a lot more scale. That's absolutely awesome. Are you kidding me? No way. <laughs> no way. <sighs> Dude, I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> hey, flip it up to normal. Flip it horizontal. Pull down on it. It, it, it locks though. All right, so this is round two. We figured out the problem and uh, what was it, Josh? It was me. So. <laughs> 
Here, here's a good tip for you guys and stuff. The retract system is really awesome, but we have our classic 9 gram servos in. What I did is I had my throws too far, so whether they're closed or open, the servo is constantly working against it, and eventually it burned out. Uh, where I have my settings right now is around 76% limiting on the throws, so it's not going a full 100%, it's going to 70%, and then we just made sure it was locked. Cool thing is, the servo's only there to move it. Once it's at one extent or the other, it's locked in, it's not putting any pressure on the servo. Right, right, yeah, awesome. yeah. You just have to make sure that it makes that locking point. Definitely, definitely. So, Love man, it. beautiful plane. I mean, it's, every yeah. time they have another generation of designs, everything gets better. Yeah, yeah, uh, most definitely. Um, they've refined everything. Uh, even, even as far as the printing goes, they try to print all their parts in vase mode, which just makes a real nice finished print. It's like one continuous thing all the way around. Oh, wow, that's and nice. And it, it just works out really good. <laughs> you don't get the stringiness then, right? right yeah, exactly. That's perfect. So as always, we're gonna put this up in the air for the very first time. This is our maiden. Whatever happens, you're gonna see and we're gonna learn from it. <laughs> that's right, let's it? Go, go set it on the road. All right. Dude, Dave did a killer job oh, on that paint that. job, dude. <laughs> Out of all the paint jobs he's done on 3D printed airplanes, this is my favorite. Yeah, dude. And what's it? What's the paint job called? It's a Supermarine Spitfire, but you kind of just took some liberties, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's not actually uh, painted like any of the original ones. I just kind of went a little crazy with it. So it's Dave's Marina. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. That yeah. looks eager. Now, I, I did find my new favorite colors for airplanes, though, because it looks awesome. Oh, I amazing. love the colors. So yeah. sick, we got a nice blue sky. We'll see how it blends in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm not flying it. That's no. okay. All right, you ready, So Mike's going to chase us. We're going to put it in the air, see how it goes. Ready, Mike? All right, ready. Da, 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 yeah, oh, there we go. No problem. Not a click of trim. I got 30% expo, and okay. I, I always fly with a little bit more throw than I think I need. Right. And this is pretty darn awesome. It looks yeah, it looks, it looks pretty dialed in. It is. I'm gonna do a low pass. I got my gear switch on a different channel. All right, there's the gear going up. Uh, one oh. gear going up. Oh, oh no. 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 no! no! Oh, no! You know what? What? We didn't, I didn't plug Did it in. Did we not plug in. it in? <laughs> One I gear going down. Oh, no. I was like, come on, we what? tested like 20 times. <laughs> All right, plug into your servos. Pro tip, guys. Yeah. Oh. Make that connection. All right. Oh, that's do a funny. slow roll. This oh. thing flies beautiful. It looks like it doesn't fly too fast either. Well, speaking of fast, what's it feel like to you, Mike? It's definitely probably quicker than what you guys are thinking. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not up there, so that <laughs> yeah. makes sense. All right, I'm gonna do a little pass here. What throttle are you at, JB? Half throttle. Nice. And this is a 3 cell 2200 inside of it. This is the same battery our FT Spitfire flies off of. Oh, perfect. Which is pretty cool. And it's flying off the budget B, which has plenty of power. Yeah. I was thinking we're gonna need a four cycle, or a four cycle, a four cell for this. No, we don't. Let's do a little pass here. Dun, da, da, da. Very balanced. It's not touchy. It looks nice. Yeah, I thought Look those colors would blend into the air more. And no, it, they it don't. actually it looks real nice. Like, they you can see real it clear. Nice. I think I, I think I'd like to try this four cell because honestly, like the punch out's okay. Yeah. But it's not vertical. Okay. Do a quick roll here. Whee! <laughs> I like it. <laughs> That's cool. So let's let's do all the classic things we're gonna do in a review here. Let's take it up to altitude. I'm gonna fly slow. I'm gonna stall it. Elliptical wings. This may stall spin. We'll see. May drop a tip. All right, so we're gonna pull it up, keep pulling it back, keep pulling it back. Almost full back, there's full back, guys. Oh. Look at that! Wow. Full, full control, right? Yeah. There it finally oh, There it is. Whoop. Oh. Ooh, hello. All right, so that took last little bit. bit there, I powered on, the torque of the motor took it over, and I started pulling out. That drop of the tip, it doesn't surprise me for a Warbird, which I wouldn't say this is a great beginner plane then. Right. And it's intermediate, but just don't stall it like this. Yeah, right. <laughs> Use it. Don't, don't do that. I literally could have backed off the elevator and uh, basically let it, uh, I'm just gonna try to type Float it out. Here. And just powered it out. That's awesome. Touch and go. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Wee. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> it grabbed the grass. It did, it did. Oh my goodness. Right, so just like the Corsair, I hammered on the throttle real quick at low speed. And I did probably what you see in a lot of World War II movies. And the torque just takes it over. <laughs> yeah. But it actually looks like it's okay. So yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think there's any damage. Yeah, let's check out the damage. Maybe if it's not damaged, we'll plug in the servo. Yes. Put up around two. Well, All right. It looks okay. How to take a beating? Do, 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 do. Just a little well, tippy tip. I'm surprised. I really thought I was gonna rip off the wing with that cartwheel. Not bad at all. So yeah, we have. It took it well. We have a saying. It's called. Yep, you're absolutely right, Dave. Look. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> all right. Let's plug that in. That needs to go and plugged in. 
There it is. <laughs> so it's like you do the foam. <laughs> now the print settings, you said it's in base mode, but the whole print feels completely different. Yeah, um, I mean, it's it's also a lot of uh, just learning your printers and figuring out what works the best for, for your said printer. Um, we obviously use the Bamboo Labs and I think I've got it dialed in pretty good. Thank it's it's just a process of doing a print, checking it, you know, making a couple little changes. Yeah. Um, you know, Eclipse and has a really good tutorial on how exactly to set up your printers and it gives you a good baseline. So make sure you check that out too. Well, the servos still work, even with my bouncy rough landing there. Hey, Stefan, can I ask you a favor? Yes. We've already flown this on three cell. I want to put a four cell and just see. Let's just stress test this thing. Four Let's cell, speed. four cell 20. Yeah, it's right on the on the pilot station. Oh, perfect. Right. Yep. So we're going to go for a round two here. Um, I'm going to just dial this up a little bit. I want to see more speed and more power. Nice thing about the uh, budget B motor is it can do three cell or four cell without taxing the motor. What I'm wondering is how are the wings going to behave? I think it's going to be just fine. Yeah, I do too. I want a fast just meow. So we're at Edgewater Air Park. This is where our friends and family can come out and also do a lot more than just fly. They can also camp. Our good friend Pappy with a parrot on his shoulder is coming down. He's one of the flight crew. <laughs> one of the people that are responsible for keeping this place so beautiful. That's right. So, uh, That's right. so we are, uh, it was round two. Yep. Back down here, ready board runway. I'm gonna back taxi a little bit. Josh gonna taxi the airplane, looking all nice and fly. Looking beautiful. Yeah, even, even the landing gear mechanism has been refined quite a bit, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, the original uh, landing gear you had to kind of sand on and make work. Yeah. This printed and went right in. They have a couple Perfect. different options too for yep. if your printer prints a little bit thicker or not. Perfect. Now, I'm going to go slow on the throttle. I'm going to let the plane lift off. I'm not going to try to prematurely lift it up because you saw what happened last time. That's a discipline with any warbird that's always a good idea. Let the wings bring the plane up, not the power. All right, let's see if I can hold true to that. You ready? <laughs> Here he goes. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want to see. There's the vertical. Racy oh. Mike, there you go. <laughs> Racy Mike. <laughs> Dad versus right, son. This is a lot more. This is a lot more what I want to see in a warbird. Right. And the nice thing is the is the budget beat can handle that. That's great. So your three cell is going to be for your kind of like slow okay. chill flyer. Yep. And then you if you want to go and do some some crazy stuff, a little more of a. Uh, Look at that. Type. Dude, wow. that's sick, dude. <laughs> that looks so awesome. Oh wait, I got a landing gear. Oh wait, I got a landing gear. And they I both. Yeah! Yeah! Dave. <laughs> that's awesome. Slow roll. Oh, this is. Oh yeah, wow. dude. That's okay, sick. this is dialed in, guys. <laughs> Sorry, Mike, I'm flying like a jerk. <laughs> Low pass. Yes, dude! Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, I may crash this, but I want to do a low inverted pass. <laughs> I got about 20% forward pressure, and I like that. And about a third more power. Dude, that's nice. Oh, look at that, that's... Wow. Because he was inverted. Because he does it! Oh, <laughs> Job. Let's go, Jay Biggs on the sticks. Yeah, yep. they're all there. Now let's see if I can keep from uh, that bad landing like that last time here. Ooh, I like this. It's nice. Leading off the airspeed. Oh, I'm going to go off the other way. I'm committed, though. Or should be committed. Ooh. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> good job, good job right, well, dude. Terrible landing, but it was a good stress test. <laughs> so, uh, hey, do me a favor. Yes. We got to make sure the landing gear works. Can you bring the plane here? I'll, I'll, go. Want to... I'll go grab it. <laughs> yeah. Now here's my recommendation. You can build this either as a fixed gear or a retractable, right? Or not at all. Yeah, yeah, no gear at all even. Yeah. And um, no matter what you choose, the, they have options for it basically. Very cool. One thing I'd recommend, if you're flying off of a grass surface, don't do the, the retractable landing gear, unless you're flying off something like a golf green. Uh, do the fixed gear or no gear at all. I would definitely recommend just the fixed gear. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah! Okay! Let's go! <laughs> Moral of the story is again, I got 76% throw limits on this. If you put your ear up to it, you're not going to hear anything. Yeah, you don't want to hear that servo hum. Yeah. Now, I've flown a lot of different scale Spitfires before, and a lot of them bite me. And as we tried in that stress test with the stalling, that's a very typical, and also with the power. Um, those are good learning options. So basically, you always want to keep your speed, but this is capable of incredibly slow flying speed. Mm -hmm. Just make sure you practice that at an altitude. And whenever you get in trouble, power on, neutralize your controls, and then do it very slowly. Give it about a three Mississippi count as you transition into the power, and that's going to keep the torque from spinning you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so they can get this now, right? Yeah, it's, it's available now. Uh, go check out Eclipson's website. Uh, this one and all the other ones yeah. are obviously available, but yeah, this is the new release, so go grab it. And yeah. we have a special coupon code too. Yes. 
Yeah, it's flight. So yes. uh, make sure you go check that out. So a huge shout out to Color Fab. Make sure you go check that out. We've got all different kinds of filament available in our store and also Bamboo Lab for uh, making the printers that make this stuff. These were done with the X1 Carbons, right? Yes, yeah. the X1 Carbons and the A1. Perfect. Yeah, it's do us, sick. Do us a favor, let us know in the comments below what next 3D printed airplane you want to see us build. And also, we have a lot of 3D airplanes. We need to do some challenges with it. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below what kind of challenges you'd like to see from these airplanes. That's it. All right. That's it. Till then, guys, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Fun on this cloudy day. Do, 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 do. He's gonna fly this plane up into the airstream. All right, you gotta work. He <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got it. He got, got it. Got it. Got it. Listen, he could ruin our lives. I know. He could. He's really good. <laughs>